Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. So, in today's video I will be talking about sort of things that you need to know before watching uh, Space Force Task Force X. Almost forgot the title there. Um, uh, the main thing I'm going to be covering is what is Task Force X doing on Mars? Now, the main thing that they are doing is getting the colonies ready, as you saw in the teaser if you watched it. If you haven't, go watch it right now. It's very short, and then just come back and, you know, finish up this video. So, uh, how these colonies work is basically what's happening is they're taking out the Mars soil and replacing it with Earth-like soil and ground. Um, this obviously allows for plants to grow and stuff like that, just like they would on Earth. Um, it's very complicated science, I don't even know if it's possible, but this is science fiction, so we can do whatever we want. So, what these colonies are, are actual towns and places from Earth, basically just copied and pasted onto Mars, is really all that's happening. Um, and how they work is obviously, you have, there's a dome over them, and that's what's, you know, supplying oxygen and the daylight cycle will be supplied by that. We'll have basically a virtual sun and moon, you know, cycling you so it feels more like Earth. Now, the reason for this is that they're trying to transport people to Mars because of overpopulation. And if, you know, obviously if you can take people to Mars, then they're not on Earth and there you go. Problem solved. Um, obviously it's probably not as simple as that, but again, it's science fiction. You can do whatever you want. What Task Force X is doing is they're getting the first colonies ready. Now there are three uh, sort of colonies that are about to be uh, fully powered up by the US and these are the ones that Task Force X is working on. All they really have to do is get to the full power grid up so you know they can make sure that all the power is stable and stuff uh, and then get the water supply uh, you know fully up and running so that it's you know good and ready to go uh, and then they have to make sure the dome is secure and then get the daylight cycle uh, ready, which is what I was talking about earlier with, you know, making it seem like it's just like Earth. Obviously, securing the dome would basically just to, you know, prevent any creatures from getting into the dome so that all the civilians who will be there are safe. Um, obviously, the full power grid, you know, you want to make sure you have power and energy so your things work. And then obviously, water supply, plumbing, all that stuff. You really need that, it's an essential uh, for most people, and especially if you can, you know, afford to go to Mars, um, then yeah, you'll want that. Now, at the same time that all of this is happening, the Russians are also doing the exact same thing um, over on a different side of Mars, and they are, you know, getting their first colonies ready too. So, yeah, that's all you need to know for Stark, mm, I, I always want to say Star Kids, but Star Kids is over. That's, you heard it here first, folks. Actually, I probably, some of you may have heard it somewhere else, but yeah, Star Kids is over. I probably said it in another video, but uh, yeah, Space Force, Task Force X, that's all you need to know before watching the video. Um, I'm not exactly 100% sure on when it's going to be uploaded. At the latest, it'll be like towards the end of March, like the very end. Um, but at the earliest, it'll be sometime this week. So, you know, it'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.